Drawings and Models Learning Objectives To model three-dimensional objects using isometric, orthographic, and foundational drawings to understand and draw basic nets. In geometry, you will study two-dimensional and three-dimensional figures. Of course, the paper or computer screen on which we study three-dimensional figures is actually two dimensions. Therefore, we must come up with ways to represent 3D figures in a 2D manner. In this section, we will explore several of these methods. Let's take a look at some vocabulary. Isometric drawing, a way of representing a three-dimensional figure from a corner view, showing three sides with the angles between the three axes equal. Isos is Greek for equal, and metron is Greek for measure, also known as an isometric projection. So I have a little cube animation here that we're going to model using isometric graph paper. So we have a corner view here, and what I want to do is I want to find all the edges of the cube. So I'm going to use the graph paper and draw the cube, and basically what happens is in my front and my top and my right side views, I end up getting a rhombus for each side. Uh, so I have three of them total. And the outside edges mark out a regular hexagon. So that's interesting. Let's try something a little more challenging with example one. Use isometric graph paper to copy the figure to the left into an isometric drawing. Pause. Alright, how did you do? What we're going to do for this one is find all the edges of the figure and draw them onto the isometric graph paper. And this just takes a little bit of practice to see it. I'm going to shade it in here so you can see it better. So how many blocks were used to make this figure? What do you think? Six. Don't forget about that hidden one underneath. Okay, so let's take a look at orthographic drawings. An orthographic drawing is a way of showing a three-dimensional object in two dimensions by showing a front, top, and right side view of the object. So I'm going to start off with a figure here made in SketchUp. This is the front view. This is the top view. This is the right side view, and I'm going to turn it for the isometric view, the corner view. So I'm going to take this view and explode it so you can see the front side in blue, the top side in red, and the right side in green. So the left is the orthographic drawing, and the right side is the isometric drawing with an exploded view of the sides. And again, you're trying to find the edges and figure out what shapes you can pick out from each view. Example 2. Make an orthographic drawing from the isometric drawing left. Pause. So I'm going to start with the front view and I'm going to try to imagine what shapes I see. So I see a square with a rectangle on the right side and a rectangle on top of the square. So that's my front view. My top view I'm going to imagine standing in the front looking down. So I'm going to see two squares on top of each other and on the right side a two by one rectangle. The right side view I'm going to see two squares, one by one squares, with one two by one rectangle going straight up. Okay, let's take a look at another drawing. Foundational drawing shows the base of each figure and the height of each part with a number. Okay, so what does this mean? Use the isometric model to make a foundational drawing. So imagine looking at this shape from the front side. And as we look down, what shapes do we see? So we see a square and then an L shape another square, and then yet another square. Now we need to label the numbers on the height of each part. And that's the foundational drawing.
Example 3. Use the figure below to make a foundational drawing on graph paper. Pause. Okay, how did you do? We are only interested in the top view. So just like the orthographic view, I want to look down on this figure and determine what shapes I can see. So I see a square with a two by one rectangle next to it, and then another square above that. So I have it color coded for you. Uh, and then now we need to figure out the height of each part. So the red section is only one unit high, the green section is two units high, and the blue section is three units high. There is our foundational drawing. Okay, it's time to do another example. Example four. Use the figure left to determine how many blocks were used, make an isometric drawing, make an orthographic drawing, and make a foundational drawing. Pause. Okay, so let's figure out how many blocks were used. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's a hidden seven behind there. Seven blocks. Okay, so now let's make the isometric drawing. Basically, I'm just copying the figure that I have above here, and it's just for practice. This will help us understand the next drawing a little bit better, the orthographic drawing. Okay, so the orthographic part C, I'm going to do the front first and we see a 3 by one and a 2 by one rectangle. I'll color code that in blue. And then the top view I see like an upside down T with a little square in the upper left hand corner. Let's make that red top view. And the right side view I'm going to see two squares at the bottom with a 1 by 2 rectangle on top of the right square. Let's make that green. And that is our right side view. Now we're ready to do the foundational drawing. I'm just going to take the same top view that we did for the orthographic drawing and just copy it. Same thing. But instead of having the other two views, I'm going to label the heights on each section. So 1 and 3 are the heights for the foundational. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our last drawing, the net. A net is an unfolded two-dimensional representation of the sides of a three-dimensional shape. So let's see what this looks like. The rectangular prism has the dimensions of 1 by 3 by 2. So I'm going to make a, an isometric drawing of this prism and then I'll make the net. So I know I'm going to need two 1 by 3 rectangles, two 2 by 1 rectangles, and two 3 by 2 rectangles with six quadrilaterals total. And now I'm going to label all the sides, all the dimensions of the net. And note, this is not the only correct possible answer. There are many combinations of nets that will work for the same figure. Example 5. The triangular prism shown has equilateral triangles with sides 5 inches and a height of 2 inches. Make a net of the prism, labeling the dimensions. Pause. Okay, so we know we need two triangles and three rectangles. So I can start with one of the equilateral triangles and draw the three uh, two by five rectangles around it. And then I need one more equilateral on one of the edges of those rectangles. And that gives me five shapes total. And I label all the dimensions. And that's it. OK, so we're ready for some practice problems. Practice set one. Each figure is constructed with one by one blocks. For each problem, determine how many blocks were used. Make an isometric drawing. Make an orthographic drawing. Make a foundational drawing. 
Use graph paper and a straight edge. Be neat. Practice set two. Make a net from each shape shown using graph paper, a straight edge, and a compass if needed. Label all dimensions on the net. The pyramid has a square base of sides four feet. The lateral edges of the pyramid have a length of seven feet. The cylinder has a radius of five centimeters and a height of nine centimeters. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video.